remember when I was overweight, I would go to the gym. I would always question if my workouts were effective. I would always compare myself to other people. Sometimes I would feel like I was wasting my time. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a full body workout that tortures fat, that builds muscle, and to have you feeling confident. Let's get to it. Before jumping into these exercises, it's important to properly warm up your body. So you wanna start with a five minute cardio warm up. You can use a treadmill, a bike, elliptical, whatever machine gets your heart rate up. And then we're gonna move on to dynamic stretching. And this is gonna help get your body ready for some weights. Dynamic stretching is important because it can help improve your flexibility and range of motion while reducing the risk of injury. Here are a few dynamic warm-up exercises. The walking lunge twist. Now you wanna step into a low lunge position to stretch your hip flexors and quads. You wanna twist your upper body in the direction of your knee and return it back to the center. Step forward out of the lunge position and repeat on the other side. The next dynamic exercise, we've all done this one in gym. This is the toe, waist, and reach. Now you wanna reach down towards your toes. You wanna to touch your hips in the center and then reach for the sky. You wanna do all of these movements in a controlled fashion. You wanna check in with your body. You wanna focus on the motion. Don't just move mindlessly, like really connect with your body. Let's get that body warmed up. You wanna do three or four of these dynamic warm-up exercises for about five to seven minutes max. All right, now that you're all warmed up, before we jump into the weights, let's talk about how to pick your weight. All right, for these exercises, you're gonna be doing three sets of 10. Now, when you're doing three sets of 10, it's important to know how to pick your weight. Here's a good rule. On your first set of three, if you get to 10 and you feel like you could have done 12 or 14, you probably went a little too light. On the other hand, if you got to 10 and you barely got to 10, it was probably a little too light. Ideally, you wanna to get to 10 and leave about two in the tank. So if you get to 10 and you feel like you could have gone to 12, you probably got the right weight. And make sure that you rest for no more than 90 seconds in between each set. All right, so you see that was the last three reps of the last set. I struggled to get those last three reps out, but I got them out without compromising my form, but they were a struggle. So that's how you know I picked the right weight. All right, so we're gonna start with the upper body workout. So first up is the chest press. You can perform this movement with a barbell or a dumbbell, whichever feels better to your body. This exercise targets the chest, shoulders, and triceps. You wanna use a weight that challenges you, but allows you to maintain proper form. Keep your elbows at a 90 degree angle throughout the exercise. Remember to control the negative part of the movement, the downward movement, and hover the barbell an inch above your chest. A very common mistake that I see way too often is the hand positioning on the barbell. Let me demonstrate the incorrect way of holding the barbell. This hand position puts your wrist at risk of injury. The correct way to grasp the bar is in such a way that your arm is positioned directly underneath it. That way, your entire arm is providing support for the weight and all of the weight is not resting on your very fragile wrist. Next exercise is the seated row, and this one targets your upper back, shoulders, and biceps. You wanna sit on the machine with your feet planted firmly on the footrest. You wanna grab the handles with an overhand grip and pull the handles towards the chest, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Then we have the overhead press. This one targets your shoulders, your upper back, and your triceps. You wanna stand with your feet shoulder width apart, lift the barbell above your head, keeping your elbows close to your ears. And you wanna slowly lower the barbell back to the starting position and repeat. If you're not comfortable using the barbell for the overhead press, I suggest using dumbbells. Moving on to the lower body workouts. So we're gonna start with squats. This exercise targets the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings. You wanna be sure to keep your back straight and your core engaged throughout the entire exercise. Make sure you use a weight that challenges you, but also allows you to maintain proper form. 
Next up is the deadlift. Now this very important exercise targets the entire posterior chain, which means the entire backside of your body. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your back straight and your core engaged, just like with the squat throughout the entire movement. You wanna begin the lift by pushing through your heels and lifting the barbell until your hips and knees are fully extended. And you wanna reverse this motion to carefully put the weight down to the floor and repeat. Finally, we have the leg press. This exercise targets the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. You wanna sit on the machine and adjust the seat so that your knees are at a 90 degree angle when your feet are on the foot plate. Push the foot plate away from your body, straightening your legs, and then slowly return to the starting position. There are two very common errors that I wanna give you guys the heads up about when it comes to this leg press machine. The first one, you wanna be sure that your lower back is planted on the bench firmly. Only lower the weight down low enough to where it doesn't cause your lower back to lift from the padding. Here's the incorrect way to do it. You see the lower back is not planted securely to the pad, it's moving all over the place. Here's the correct way to do it. The next common mistake that I see is improper knee alignment on the concentric part of the lift. Here's what the incorrect form looks like. As you see, the knees are collapsing inward. No bueno, that's not what we want. The correct form looks more like this. You wanna be sure to push the weight with the back and the sides of your heel. You may wanna put some external force on your knees. Push your knees outward a little bit so that they stay in a straight line. If I can go back to the days when I was overweight, the one thing I would have done differently is I would have gotten more support. All of my successful friends, they all have one thing in common. They all invest in themselves. They get the support that they need. I'm currently taking on online coaching clients. Go to brickstraining.com, sign up for a discovery call, and let's figure out if we make a good team because I want to help you transform this year. All right, we're almost done. Remember, to cool down properly, spend about five to 10 minutes walking or jogging on a treadmill, whatever you need to do to just decrease your heart rate, rate slowly. And then you wanna do some static stretches for your entire body. There's a link to a static stretching video in the description below. Be sure to take advantage of that. And just like that, we are done. You can repeat this full body workout three to four days per week. Remember to prioritize form, you want quality over quantity when it comes to these repetitions. And guys, make sure you hit the like button, put it in the comments if you have any video suggestions. And remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself, so evolve. Peace. Look, don't try to lose weight by yourself. Tap into a community. Get around like-minded people. If you don't have that at home, you need to join the Bricks Fitness Insiders. Go to bricksfitnessinsiders.com for more information. There's a link in the description. Come join the family.